How'd you do I? See you met my faithful handyman. No! Not another one! I'll save you! It's what Batman would do! He's just a little brought down, you see, when you knocked. He thought you were the handyman. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. That's... that's... that's horrible. Okay. Okay. A quick shot. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that came out wrong. You, you're not helping. You're not helping your case. You're not making this any better. You realize that. Oh, it was glamorous, I can tell you. The souls of the daily departed who couldn't rest, and you just went around and you started turning them into paintings. It, you're a monster. Well, tonight... I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. Oh, Grandma, no! So I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Where's my guillotine? Because that one door says, no, you need two stars to enter. I figured that was the door to the final boss. And apparently, no. But then again, that was a week ago. I was very young and naive then. No! Excuse me. Coming through. Sorry. Couldn't help it. I'm completely incompetent. Damn, I look good running into these heels. Ow! Thanks to
Kind of wow. Okay. So once again, we had this obscure little setting buried deep within Streamlabs that had changed for no apparent reason and was muting the... I'd love to, I'd love to blame the software that was 100% me. You know, I had your back on this, bro. Sorry, it was me. <laughs> I got to own up. <laughs> All right, that's fair. All right, anyway. Um, all right, so... Anyway, welcome to today's stream, take three. Or is it four? Anyway, the point is, uh, today's uh, today's not for profit is the Trevor Foundation. The Trevor Foundation acts as a uh, shelter for the maelstrom of whatever LGBTQIA youths may be facing. If you can afford it and uh, would like to donate to them, links are in the description. Likewise, if you cannot, but you would like to be able to uh, give them a bit of a shout out, um, you know, just kind of signal boost, that link is also in the description. Let's see, that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm trying to. Aha, all right. <laughs> what is he the fool? Did a foolish? I, I am astonished. Yeah, this. Um. All right. <laughs> In honor of International Int Sharing a Moment of Laughter Day which today totally, totally is. We're going to be ending the uh, Arkham Asylum Origins. And as part of that, we're going to be taking down the Joker, which, as we all know, whereas Batman may be the protagonist, we all know that Joker's really the star. So, all right. I got one more upgrade coming to me, so I may as well spend it. Hmm. So, after this shield counter. Nice. Yeah, I will absolutely take that. Good God. Okay. I heard about what you've accomplished tonight and what you've been through. You need anything else? We're here for you. Good. We're both after the same thing. Let's get it done. So great. Do I get to do that last combat all over again after all? I'm not sure. It's not true. The things they say about you no idea. Ah, don't worry about it. It's not true. The things they say about you. I had no idea. Allow me to, so the shock gloves allow me to ignore the entire enemy typing system and just punch through literally anything. Yeah, that works well with me. I'm going to say that works well for my um, uh, playing style. It works well for my playing style, yes. Okay, that's run. That's attack. That's cape stun. That's defend. Uh, okay, that's where the gadgets are. Excellent. Let's just... Uh... Oh, haha. And Joker left a message for me. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Try to resist and I'll kill them all. Here's to Gotham turned upside down. Come Xmas Day, I run this town. Oh, poor man. He thinks he's creative. Alright, that's fine. 
He's just lonely. Alright, so logically... Dude, they're just leaving him up there. I haven't even tried to take him down yet. Ah, criminy. Yeah, it's difficult to imagine now, but, I mean, back in the day, uh, when the Joker first started out, back in Detective Comics, the idea of an evil clown was not the stereotype that it is today. So, it was just, it was weird and strange and what the hell is it even doing type of thing. So, alright, how do I jump? Right. Fire extinguisher... Now, the first challenge, how the hell do I proceed? It'd be great if, uh, am I missing something? Detective vision is not revealing anything. Okay, this is where... Okay, I recognize those gun crates. This is where I had that big fight last. I think. But, um... Okay. I should be able to batarang on up there, but I'm not allowed. Yeah, the map is... to my perception, not being terribly helpful. I mean, I'm I'm in a large blank space next to another large blank space. I assume there's a door, but, you know, and I, I examined this, and I'm not getting any prompts or anything. Hmm. Yeah, so this is the rest of the game. Um, aha. Yeah, this is... listening to the report coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one part must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering... Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now. Oh, Alfred, there's n I don't have anything bigger to worry about than your survival. I mean, I appreciate that you're suddenly supportive of my cause, but, uh, you know, I think you're going a little far in the opposite direction. So apparently, if I'm reading this correctly, I have, do I have multiple levels to choose from on this? Yes. Or no. Okay. I'm not allowed to grapple onto that, so I guess I'm not supposed to. I don't know. Blackgate Sewers Access. Righto. So apparently there's this thing in video games where the sewer level always sucks. And I'm not sure that that's the case in the Batman games. It's not like, you know, some kind of arcane curse that there's no escape from. 
This doesn't seem so bad, you know, so far. Something is sending a strong electric current into the water. I should be careful. Yeah, it's strong enough that it's visibly arcing. Do you have any idea how much current it takes to do that? Actually, I uh I genuinely don't even know enough about electricity to know whether that's a matter of current voltage amps or what but uh, since it's the water that's electrified shouldn't be a problem see I like this it actually gives a reason for falling into the water being instantly deadly to Batman this guy who is like more athlete than athlete he falls into the water and it's like no nah, can't swim dun, 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 dun. southeast sewer system all right that is not the direction i'm needing to go I'm needing to go that away ah another dead person Hmm. Well, see, that's the thing about Gotham. Any time that you're thinking it's about as bad as it could get, suddenly you find out, oh no, it can get worse than that. It can get lots worse. You know, you think that being in Gotham at night on the streets is bad. Yeah, here's another example. I cannot climb this. I could climb this in real life, but Batman cannot climb this. I just, what? Why? Uh, you know, I, maybe I'm overthinking it. It's just, it does kind of take away the, uh, uh, I have to get closer. That's out of range. It does kind of take away the uh, immersion for me. That's okay. I saved Alfred. Can I jump up there? Yes, I can! Ha! I saved Alfred. I will never forgive myself for his gotten that, getting that close to death. Now, I'm going to bring Bane to justice. And it's important to note, I think, one of the things that they're really consistent about regarding Batman and his motivations in this game compared to... Um, <laughs> everyone, they're in danger. Batman, why aren't you obsessed? Immediately following, Batman, don't get obsessed. <laughs> All right, there we go. Wasn't sure if I could make that or not. But, uh... Ha! Destroy. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, you know, I don't get the idea that these guys died from accident. I don't th think this guy accidentally smashed his head into a control panel. I sense that Bane may have been here. All right, anyway. So at this point, I'm willing to bet. Uh, where's that glue thing? Glue grenade. There we go. Okay, yeah. I, I, I will admit, I do like the glue grenade for this purpose better than, like, the freezing thing. Um, 
just because ice, I'm like, why do I have traction? Hmm. Why is it not melting? You know, glue? Yeah, it's going to be there a while. Foamy glue, apparently. Okay, um, hmm. Did I... Did I miscalculate somewhere? Well, there's an anchor point. I should... But it's too far away. Too far away. Too far away. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. When the bat, anytime Batman repurposes his enemy's technology, that is a good day. Really, I can't, I can't use the batarang to get up there. That's, that's so close, though. Why? Uh. Yeah, the problem isn't figuring a way across. The problem is trying to figure out. What specific way across they had in mind? Growl. So, okay. I'm going to try throwing another blue grenade. Maybe that's the solution. Nope. The water will not accept another glue grenade. So, that's also out. Right. Bat claw. Bat claw. Bat claw. Okay. <sighs> Holy crow! Here we go. All right, and then. Bat claw on that bad boy. Okay, hopefully there's no enemies here since I didn't have the option to stealth. No, there are not. Excellent. All right. All right I need to deliver power to the pump generator to raise the water level in the lock below. I, ah, yes, so that I can get past those screws without getting ground, ground up by them. All right. my remote batarang to deliver power to the pump generator, it'll raise the water level in the lock. Hmm. Or I could just push this button. I wonder what it does. Well, it didn't turn those off. Um, yeah, I, okay. And I'm guessing that I need to use the remote. Batarang to get in there. So, remote claw? No. Right. Heave! Oh, come, come on. Hurrah! Hurrah! Okay. Is that destructible? That's destructible. Um, I can't aim at that. Hmm. Okay. So I need to raise the water level to get over there to destroy the destructible section of wall to catch up to the cow with a rumpled horn that lives in the house that Jack built. Got it. Okay. No problem. Remote batarang. Remote batarang. Sonic batarang. Remote controlled batarang. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, I hate these controls. Ah. Hmm. All right. Okay. So I need to Okay, so I need to put it through the arcing electricity that's over there and then curve it around to hit the uh, circuit panel within a certain time frame. Ah! Ah! Did that do it? Did that do it? I don't think that did it. Did I aim at the wrong thing? Yeah, nothing's changed. The water level this hasn't gone up. Okay. I missed something. I'm not sure why that didn't work. There we go. I must have just missed the window for it being electrified the first time. Okay. Now then. Water level being higher. Now. Use the glue grenade thingy. Ah, okay. And now, that claw, pull my way over there. And here's explosive gel. Detonate explosive gel. Wait for tinnitus to subside. Climb into next room. Uh, that seems frozen out of season. This can only mean good things. Okay, I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of that glue grenade I sense. Time it, aren't I? Oh, come on. I wasn't trying to create a glue raft, you funicula. All right, here we go. And can I crouch? I can crouch. Okay. Crouch. Really? Come on! Uh, 
Laughing Gordon's like, okay, now hear me out. You cut the Gordian knot. Ugh. All right. Crouching down. Fine. Aim, aim. There. Criminy. Oh, come on. Throw the damn thing. Just... Ah! Oh, that's good. I love starting a section all over again. At least it, it, it doesn't literally have me start all, all over again. The stuff I've already blocked up is still blocked up. Come on. Uh, all right, well... Um, why am I not... Why am I not able to do any of these things that I logically should be able to do? <laughs> Gordian, by you Commissioner Gordian. Yeah, you can say that, Black Mask, but uh, physics, physics changed suddenly and prevented me from continuing. Oh, see, now I get to start all over again. Hooray! <sighs> okay. So. Blue grenade. And, of course, s just switching from one item to another is... If you're in a hurry, not as easy as it sounds. Frickin' D-pad. Uh, target, target, throw it! Throw it. What, really? I knew I shouldn't have cut softball in P.E. I thought it was too girly. There. Placed in a convent. Okay, now, what the hell? What, am I supposed to glue those up? What am I supposed to be doing here? I didn't think it would be this easy. Oh well, live and learn. The, the raft was still there. I don't even know how I died that time. Okay. Fortunately, I am the god of space and time. I love that little realistic bit, though, that, you know, because these pipes are so old, they'll find another way to release some of that pressure. Now, see... Logically, I should be able to batarang up there and swing around. That is a surface that logically should allow for that. But no, I have to work out the one way to solve this particular puzzle. Here I go again Falling in love again what the hell am I... It's literally the only interactable. Now and own a... Wow. Wow. The only way that I was allowed to batarang up here was after I quickly obliterated, well, not obliterated, but after I quickly blocked up all of the steam vents. Because even a fraction of a second of exposure to steam through my armored and insulated bat suit would kill me. I'm supposed to figure that out? That's logical? 
All right. Okay. I disagree. But this game is so awesome in so many other ways. Yeah, the I I don't feel that the vents were physically blocking me from the ledge. It would have been an inconvenience. But uh you know, it I just don't see the physics working like that. the button. That time I did not. No. You don't. Hooray! Damn it! Come on! Do ah! Yeah, the game had already established that you can't pass through the vents on foot, but if you're being moved through steam with a mechanized device so that you spend less than a tenth of a second exposed, I feel like that's a little different. I realize that within the realm of game programming, it's considered to be consistent. It's just, I just, I don't follow that logic. It just, it. Let me... Really? I can't get there from here? Jiminy. There. Now I can. Rules, rules, rules. Alright. Ten hostiles, all armed. Yeah, I didn't really have time to completely neutralize that guy, but Look, there's a bounty on the streak's head. If we get him before he gets us, we'll split it. Now move out. Whoa. Uh, you. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Easy, buddy. Just 
That's, you know, indoors, you can only use a smoke pellet so many times, as I recall. It could be dangerous. You go first. Man, I'm just imagining the preparation it took to set this place up. And it wouldn't make sense for anyone but the Joker. But the Joker will literally spend, you know, however many hours just setting up all of this graffiti. Interesting, there's now two layers of gargoyles that I can play with, which is also rather cool. Let's see. Yep, I used my one smoke pellet. Because I'm indoors, I cannot use any more. Well... That's okay. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and scan me, pal. I took the precaution of having a resistance to such scans. So, is anybody going to check that out? Hello, my name is Batman, and this is my distraction. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Yeah, I'm still really uncertain about cutting these guys down when they're hanging upside down like this, and then they fall onto a steel floor. But, I mean, it doesn't count them as being dead. I guess, you know, criminals are just made out of foam rubber, I guess? Yeah, I think that's it. They're, uh, they're superstitious, they're cowardly, and their spines are made out of foam rubber. Yeah, that checks out. You can't detect me, but I still find you annoying. This is so cool. I have two layers of gargoyles to play with now. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. When the night is over, like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone, gone, gone. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. When the day is done and the moon comes oh, out. And then he bounces. Because, you know, criminals bounce. Let's see. I'm about halfway through these guys. Pretty goody gumdrops. Let's see. Sonic Batarang. What 
Do-do-do-do-do-do. Wow, you're actually thinking. Well, that was disappointing. He also did not come directly beneath the gargoyle. So, um, yeah, he impressed me twice. I mean, look at this guy go. Say that. Come on, where are you? I know you're back there. Uh, don't creep around like that. Nearly got you. Damn it. Making us look like idiots. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Anyone can tell you're a self made man. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a superpower that let me just turn off that alarm in the background. Try to... Yeah, I haven't been able to get in a really good angle to read the graffiti that the Joker has put, but... Some of it is really, really high. We're talking like set up scaffolding or hang upside down for the ceiling kind of high. So, and I would not put it beyond the Joker to hang upside down so that he can properly put his graffiti in place. Three left. Wow. It never gave me the option for an inverted attack on that one. Okay, well. Maybe the angle was wrong. I wasn't holding my jaw right. There we go. I I would do a a Scott from the office. That's what she said. Joke. Yeah, you ever notice how these guys just kind of shed bats as they fall unconscious? Kind of cool, right? Hmm. Whoop. Getting a little nervous there, guys. Be careful. Don't want to shoot each other by mistake. Oh man. I just missed the window for the takedown on that guy. Where's your buddy? There he is. Alright, no problem. Just wanted to double check my counting. But yeah. There's one. There you are. Yes. Here I am. I should check on the hostages. Oh. Yeah. I stopped 
just in time. Um. Hmm. Uh, well, they're not armed, so they might actually be cops. Let's find out. They really need to boost security in this place. I mean, twice in one day? <laughs> Remember, if they're ter falling at terminal velocity, Laughing Gremlin says, if someone catches them, they're fine. Yes, that is true. Unless, of course, it's Gwen Stacy... Gwen! Uh, childhood trap, comic book traumas, they stay with you. Stay here where it's safe. The police will be here soon. Okay, please, stop the Joker. You're the only one who can. Harleen Quinzel, holy crap. So she was taken prisoner by the Joker's goons back when she was an intern? No, 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 wait. Um, yeah, I'm remembering that cutscene from earlier. Oh, oh, Harley, this is where it starts. Man, I mean, the picture... Okay, I did not have the skill to pl play these in chronological order. I was advised to play them in the order of release, and I'm glad that I did. But, um, picture playing this through in chronological order, and it starts here, and then it ends with the Joker just duct-taping her to a pole, gagging her, and leaving her as a sacrifice to her most hated enemy. Man... Her whole story in the video game world really breaks the heart. I'm glad that in the main continuity, uh, she and Ivy found each other. Are you okay? What's it to you? You were almost killed. Eh, occupational hazard. You're gonna get blowed up. There's that's wow. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. So can I go through cautiously? No. Okay, wait a minute. Literally, the only way in was through the sewer, through a bunch of electrified crap, using glue grenades and everything else. And the Joker was just assuming that I would be here? Okay, maybe he just has a tremendous amount of faith in his darling Batman. Oh, no. Lots of... Lots of bad news. Where, oh, where is my little bad dog? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? His cowl, his scowl, his temper so foul. I hope that he's coming for me. <laughs> Enjoy the show, sanitarium, rubber room, loony bin, ha ha ha. Can't say he hasn't put in the effort. Five hostels, none of them with guns. Uh, jump over it. There we go. Uh, 
Wrong button. That one was all me. Yeah, it sure looks that way, doesn't it? Take him down. Yeah, I definitely like the upgrade on those gloves. Interesting that Batman did not keep them as part of his repertoire going forward. Okay, he is too traumatized to speak. He is... Un he is unalived with a bucket on his head. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm almost at, well, not the person who almost killed you. But uh, the person who's behind it all. I'm going to stop him. And it's not for revenge. This is not a compulsion. I just want to. I don't have to do this. I just want to do it. About I can quit any time I want. Afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. For good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried. All right, gentlemen. Put them away and zip them up, please. Yeah, there's nothing there I can better ring to. So I guess I need a conventional way down. Doesn't seem to follow. open. It will not. Okay. Aha. Oh, well they're just beating the hell out of each other. Well, you know, there's a certain degree of just natural attrition here. Maybe if I just give them a little bit of time No. Oh well. Game here. Get him. Yeah, this is kind of like playing in. It's like I don't know if anybody of you have ever played like first edition or second edition D and D. But uh, even if you have a cleric, one of the goals that you try to maintain is. Try not to get hit. Merry Christmas. Just 
It's a good move. Occasional. Let's do this. Bring it. Give it to him. We're throwing down right here. Come on, go in the direction I'm telling you to go. Why are you doing this? Holy crap, why are you like this? Not even close to where I told you to attack, but okay, there we go. Oh, stick and move, stick and move. We can take them. Yeah, my timing is just a little bit off there. Wow, really? Yeah, it was fine until I started actually doing the counters. That was annoying. Okay, I'll do the counter. Well, that made me stand still too long. So, okay. You need to remember, in this game, the timing of a counter takes a little while. So, let's see here. As doing the jumping dodge takes very little time. And in a large group like this, I can't afford to lose any time. Which again, if I was a master of timing, then that might not be an issue. That probably would not be an issue. But, as things stand now... Hey, I tried to do the special multi-ground takedown, and it did not happen at all. So I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that anymore. It just gets me hurt. End of the line. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. Well, yeah. All it does is get me hurt. There's no point in doing that. We got a problem, boys. Uh, yes, you do. We all do. Okay, 
game, not the direction I... I would like some controller for my character, please. This is just not working for me. And I pushed the dodge button, but I was still in the animation for throwing, and so I went down. <laughs> Remember, you're just crazy, Steve the Hobo who knocked out Batman. I will take this frickin' room. And apparently I'm just going to take it in a straight-up fight, because Batman would never use stealth or subterfuge to avoid taking on an entire army single-handedly. stuns them, but it doesn't... seem to actually move them towards being knocked out. Hmm. Curious. Okay. Grenade, that's useful. Yeah, the problem is switching between. There are strategies that I could seek to use with some of these. But trying to use them in a fight. Why don't you guys face me here? Boy, that camera's awkward from this direction. And apparently I can't really damage them. And I can't get them into a bottleneck so I can control the fight. Yeah. I literally cannot... I cannot do them harm until I enter the room with them. Criminy. Alright, well, here we go with the ultimate dance dance revolution, I guess. 
Uh, move, God. Why, did you see me just stand there for a second? You ready? Everybody, rush them at once. Everybody, on them. Yeah, um. Not the optimum scenario. So are are compost the only thing that count towards knocking these guys out? Yeah, I don't have time for a special tank down. It takes too long. Don't just stand there. I don't have the skill to make up for it when you do that. You go, huh? Can't see. What's it gonna take? Kick his ass so we can get out of here. Yeah, let me move, please. Yeah, and it's impossible in here for me to activate the shock gloves without the time it takes to activating to, to activate them. Somebody do something. Ah, yeah, baby. Give me your best. He's ours. Oh, come on. Ah, I hate those knife guys. Yep, okay. Can I... Okay, it seems as though, and I'm playing the game, I'm not watching it, so because of the level of... Oh no, dude, is it a fool? If all I do is press square, I just die when I have the shock gloves activated. What I was starting to say was that it seems as though attacking with the shock gloves takes just like a few frames longer than a standard attack. And during that time, once that happens, then I attack somebody, and if there's anyone else in range... They'll get a free shot. I'll see the counter come up. I press the counter, but it's already too late. But oh well. Yeah, I tried one of the first times, actually the first couple of times that I tried this room. Just, okay, I take the shot, I have the shot gloves. I take the offensive, and I just... I died even faster. Didn't I take something to make it so that the shock gloves would activate more quickly? Like, with five, a combo of five or six? At one point, I thought I did. Ah. a sweet spot between dodging and attacking 
when his gloves are active. And... And the moment is over. Get ready for a yeah, even with shock gloves, I didn't actually knock anyone unconscious there. Now, does that mean that a lot of these guys are closer to being unconscious? Like that guy with the stars? takedowns. Ow. That apply. No? Yeah, I try to... Yeah. Cannot spend too much time on one opponent. Cannot spend more than one attack on one opponent. That cost me. Ah, uh, come on. Why? What? What even was that? Okay, that guy with the red lightning, I feel like he's new. Yeah, he's frickin' eight feet tall. I would have noticed him if he had been in the mix initially, I think. Okay. Alright, this is gonna get awkward. Took out both the shields, I think. No, that guy's just stunned. Ow, no, no, God. All right, left myself open for that, unfortunately. I don't remember how to... Okay, guy with red lightning, I guess I cape stun him.
There. Okay. Holy crap. Yes! Oh my god! Holy crap, I took out that god-awful room. I would like to thank my family and my friends. I would like to thank Muhammad Ali for his excellent advice. And I would like to thank all of the losers who lost this fight. For without their losing, indeed, it is true, I could not have won. Thank you. Thank you all. And I would also finally like to thank the manufacturers at Elmer's Glue, without whom most of the adventure would not have been possible. Okay. Now, with that settled, Well, I thought there might be something down there, but no. All right. You know what? The glue grenade actually worked pretty well last last room. I'm going to use it again. Okay, so we've got one big guy, and then I've got a couple of juicers. Okay. What? I dodged! Okay, memo to me. The green guys have a special grab, and they don't have to make contact with you. They just have to get close. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, when I first started, it said zero arm. Friend, they're not going to recognize my body when I'm done with it. Have you seen my workout regimen? It's insane. Yeah, that big guy is really good for kind of just weeding down the opposition. Oof. Yeah, because that worked so well last time. Who I told you to attack. Don't attack one at a time. Well, okay. Can I please attack in the direction I'm squeezing the little joystick? Yeah.
<laughs> Isaac says, please review, feel free to review my 50 tips for this fight. 11 Gremlin, now you just need to do it four more times. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really have a good opening timing-wise, partially because of the smaller space to use the glue grenade, but fortunately, I didn't need to. an actual arena. Gotham was already kind of on its knees. It's where it spends most of its time. This is one of the best arguments against the Joker being someone of psychopathy. Okay. There are certain there are certain angles that I just cannot dodge. That's just the triple cape stuff. Okay. And he does not care until the third cape stun has been activated. And I... Wow, okay. Dodging this guy is... Wow. Okay, he doesn't have to hit me. Okay, there goes my armor. And he is literally, wow, not even injured. He has taken no damage from anything I've done. Okay. Well, this kind of sucks. Okay, that buys me time, but that's it.
Okay, I did him some damage. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, and then he just kind of KOs everything. out I appreciate it yeah he can stall his charge unlike some of those other guys oh come on what the hell come on game yeah yeah he hurts the ground and I take damage No, keep the camera on the guy I'm fighting! Oh, come on! And, yeah, that's it for me. Okay. I didn't get to do a combo that time. He changed the pattern. Uh, yeah, he really said witness me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been... Okay, if, if I can act, can I do something? Because I would love for... Uh, a stunned act, uh, pardon me, <laughs> a dodge to actually be effective. That would be just awesome. There we go! Yeah, I almost did not get that last cape stun in. Timing on this is so frickin' close. But, now I have an idea of what the pattern is supposed to be. Ah! Oh yeah, send in more guys. That's perfect. Oh, come on! Yeah, when I push the button, can I can I move in the direction I'm intending? Because that would just be so swell if I could. Uh... Hey, you got no cause to start getting mad now, Joker. You hired him! Okay. I pushed the button twice, and all I did was flinch a little bit. I'm not sure how that worked. Wow, okay. Out of the way. Okay, I did not think I was going to get that in. I certainly did not have time to get the full. Yeah, push the button, nothing happens. I stand there. Okay. Uh. Ah, come on! By the way, here's a cue to use takedown. It will not work. I keep thinking that that should work. I'm not going to 
try to take you down. That's just a trick. Woof. Oh, come on! That should not have hit me. Really? Don't move. Maybe you should move. Oh, Jim, not the best of times. Jim, run. I am not in control here. Run. Run away, Jim. Run. Careful, Jim. When that chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. Yeah, I was talking about how the Joker didn't qualify as a true psychopath. It's because a psychopath has uh, enhanced self-interest above all other concerns. And the Joker in this has... Almost no sense of self preservation. Kill you again. May you find the peace in death that you did not find. I don't want peace. I'm not looking for peace. Oh, wow, I called it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll dodge. It won't matter, but I will anyway. Ah, crap. So much crap going on, I, I lost track. Camera, pick an angle. Oh my god. Jump when I say jump. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Holy crap. I, I dodged that. I was in the dodge and he just smacked me out of the air. Okay, that time I'm glad that... Oh, that was not the direction I said to jump! That was not me. That was that time it was the game. You've been broke. Ah. Uh. Yeah, circle and triangle simultaneously. I tried that, and nothing good came of it. Don't move. Maybe you should move. <laughs> what is it? Tie takedown works coyote for freak's sakes. Well, I'm sure it does some of the time. Where am I? Come on, camera, come on! Oh my god! 
Oh my god, what? Did they deliberately make this as difficult as possible? Yeah, I, I... Ah, come on, man! Okay, game. If you keep changing the... If you keep changing the angle of the camera against my consent, you're limiting my abilities. Not where I told you to go. Oh my god. Killing the guy in the cave. Ooh, hey, me next, me next. Ooh, he is on a roll. What no, that is God, that is not what I said to do. Why? What is the point of having a game if the controls don't do what I say? Oh good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want a saving throw against that anyway. That's fine. And sometimes he's just immune impervious to all attacks. Which is cool. Oh, there's one guy left. Great. Finally! Oh my god! Yeah, I wasn't expecting iframes. I was just expecting to be able to move in the direction I wanted. And between... Honestly, between the camera and every other damn thing, that was a real challenge. You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean... You didn't. That's not how I do things. Now go. I love this part. This is so good. Come on. You're not allowed to die. Come on. Wake up, you jackanape. Come on! Welcome. I love you too. You leave me no choice. I don't want it. Peppermint flavored.
Oh, good. What do we know about TN1? The compound I found in Bane's lab. I'll start looking into it now, sir. Level up. Um, I'm thinking close combat upgrades. Um, what else can I get? Um, I think I'm about maxed out. From here, it just, it, it's just a matter of skill against skill alone. Oh dear. Um, auxiliary upgrades? Anything here that will help? What's that you say? Not on your life? Um. Hmm. Well. Uh. Yeah. 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 I mean. You know, smoke fell. <laughs> smoke pellets are basically useless. Skill versus skill. Oh no, I had hoped it wouldn't come to that. <laughs> That's where I'm living, man. I'm like, come on. All right. Um. Ooh. Upgrade the disruptor to temporarily disable the PA system speaker in predator encounters. Does that mean I can turn off the alarm? If there's an alarm buzzing, can I can I undo it? I mean, smoke volume is almost. The smoke bomb is of very limited usefulness in this particular game, simply because you only can use it once if you're outside. Hmm. Um, I like the glue grenade. I already have the quick silent takedown. Side boost attack I already have. Increased battering stun time. You know what? Yes. Master Bruce, the TN1 Bane just injected will reach its full potency in ten minutes. If you can't defeat him by then, you won't be able to withstand his attacks. Hello, who is this? He's shaking the whole oh, thing. Oh, you read me? You okay? Harvey, I need you to oh, secure every exit out of Blackgate. Sewers, front doors, I don't care. Map not available. Okay. Let us out of here. Okay. Nope. Alfred's right. I can't take Bane in a fist fight. I'll have to think strategically. I wish this game would make up its mind. Am I supposed to use strategy? Or am I supposed to just charge in? I must not fight. I must run. All right. Oh, that mutes the Joker yelling at his gang. Oh, that's entertaining, though. I wouldn't want to get rid of that. No, I didn't say... Yeah, run him into a wall with his own strength or something, maybe. Okay, I have no camera control and no motion control at all. And I'm just in a corner, watching his fists fly madly. What? Yeah, I'm trying to, but my con but nothing I do changes direction on this guy.
Yeah, nothing is working. He's just... I did the takedown and he's in a corner. And nothing matters anymore. Nice to know he still has bones. I'm just... I'm moving every stick, man. I'm moving every stick. Singularly and in combination. I just... I have no foresight. No direction. Nothing but... A... Uh, a a wild and impulsive need to destroy everything around me. I feel like the Republican Party. Yeah, it's... I have tried every button and nothing changes anything. I'm just... I, I found another glitch, everybody! <laughs> oh! Aren't you happy for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lousy, lousy, lousy. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Remember, I have only 10 minutes to do this, Master Bruce. <laughs> Uh, and so it was that yeah and so it was that the romance between Bane and Bruce Wayne truly began what started as just a chance meeting at a masquerade ball between two men with masks under a full moon there was snow in the air And then, after a while, they came to realize that they truly shared something special between them. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to... Uh, let's try... Um, well, let's see. Restart from last save checkpoint. Yeah. Oh no, all unsaved progress will be lost. Romance is dead. Yeah, okay. I don't usually go this far on a first date, pain. No, don't think I'm cheap. I just can't help myself. Yeah, um... I will admit this part puzzles me a little bit as far as the character of Bane goes, because... He was always... He was always in control. I'm, I pushed the skip button multiple times. There we go. He was always more than a little bit of a control freak. Uh... Front doors, I don't care. The Joker cannot escape. We're on it. Ra la la. Ra la la. Alright. Oh, laughing boy. Aha! There he is. Okay. I like to think that we. Did I find the glitch or the glitch find me? I like to think that we found each other. That it was a special moment and we shared it together. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see here. Okay, apparently I also lost the level up that I did. That is not my primary concern. Alright, see, last time around. Well, that's depressing. Sir, you have only minutes before the TN1 takes full effect. Use those electrified doors to your advantage. Well, I may not be able to get out of here. Let's see here. What the hell? Now it lets me do it. Okay. I managed to get on top of him before. Yeah. Maybe the real stream was the glitch we found along the way. He is just tearing the hell out of those floor grates. It's making it basically so that not only will I not be able to use them as cover, but I won't be able to navigate through some of those tunnels because there is metal grating torn up blocking the way. Oh yeah, he's doing that with the side grates too. Lovely. So, alright, I can temporarily Im uh, immobilize him still with the glue grenades. Thank you, Alfred. I'm working on it. So, that is not, in fact, working. Alright. Um, let's see, where was it? The... Uh, wasn't here, I don't think. No. Um, increased battering stun time. Yes, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, and I can sneak up on him fine. It's just... When I do sneak up on him... And I have him, and I do the sneak attack, I do the sneaky. Corner takedown. Alright, where's the... There, okay. 
And now I run away. Run away. Ah, uh, frickin' camera. Why? What? Why? Why? Why, though? Just... Oh, my God. Okay, he can be a quick one when he wants to be. Yeah, I need to steer him into electricity. But, map is not available. I don't know where the electricity is. Oh, there's some electricity. I have to steer him into it. I have not been able to steer him at all thus far. Into the frickin' no, go back. Go go I Yeah, there's no option to steer. Why did I stop? What game, what are you doing? Why game? Why? Heh. Well, I've been trying to do that, and it hasn't been working. I can't even look to see where I'm going. What? No! Did you see that? Yeah, well, old Bane here is going for, aha, maximum distrucity, so that should be easy, right? What? No! Oh my god, did you see that? I need to be stealthy if I'm in this fight. I need to have some control over my direction and maybe even the camera, if I'm going to win this fight. By which I mean survive. I pushed that damn button! Oh my god! Look, I realize that this is more a quick time event. That's, wow, not even close. But, damn it, can I just... Can I control my character, please? In a scenario where the crux of it is having control, can I please... Now run. Why did why does it keep stopping me? That's not what I said to do. No. Uh, thank you for that, Alfred. I kind of got that.
I, I'm supposed to steer you towards the electricity. So why can I not steer you to what? Why? No, get in the... God! I pushed that damn... Oh my god! Did you see that? I pushed the button for a silent takedown. And it moved to parry. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a quick time event, which, again, uh, you, you, it's not a matter of pressing it when the prompt appears. You have to press it at the proper timing adjacent. To when it bloody appears, apparently. But that's fine. It's all in good fun. Did you see that? Oh my god! Like, evade. <laughs> Push triangle for a silent takedown. I push triangle. The prompt disappears, and instead I'm doing a counterattack. Where are you, Bane? Oh, that didn't even work. Okay. Yes, Alfred, I know. Thank you. Wow, it didn't even give me the prompt that time. And he didn't see me, apparently. Okay. There we go! Then run away. Um, yeah, okay, I'll find I'm all over it.
Yeah. Not that I have any other reason for hurrying, you understand. Alfred, the camera makes him undefeatable. Oh, well, that was good. Why did I stop? I didn't say to stop. And I didn't say to jump to the side, either. Okay, now that legitimately was me pushing the wrong button, because I'm getting flustered. I did not... No! Lots more hiding in the vent ban. There. Holy crap. Dude. Yay! I'm perfect. Uh. Yay! Oh. I've defeated Bane. Didn't you hear? dangers untold, and through henchmen unnumbered, I have come to face you through the labyrinth beyond Gotham City to take back the plot line that you have stolen. Um... Yeah, I'm just kind of looking for anything else that might behoove one, such as myself. Um, hmm. You know what? I mean, I'm mostly just... Yeah, sure. Um, more smoke volume... Wait, level up again? Why 
What else is there? Okay. There. That does it. Gordon. Sniper. Would you look who's back for more? Oh, come on. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch. Ruby. Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. Come to us. Oh, criminy. There, all right. Fumbled with the buttons a little bit to try to figure out which one was which, but made made it through. Towards the chapel. Thanks. All right. Really? I can't bettering up any of these locations? That's just okay. Yeah, everybody involved in this is going to have nightmares for years. Just the number of corpses that are everywhere on this. Alright, is this something that I can... Apparently not. Okay. Now, I honestly missed what Gordon said, which was probably intended to direct me in a particular direction. So... I... Yeah. I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go. I'm going to figure, since this area is unexplored, I guess I need to head back to the Nexus and then south. I guess. Can I get you to repeat what you said a minute ago? I missed it. No? Oh well. That's fine. Um, hey, some of these people are just unconscious instead of dead. That's good. Why can I not grapple up there? I have a utility belt. Okay, this opens. show live. Uh, more dead police. <laughs> oh, 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 
in the chapel, of course. Oh, I didn't mean to cut off his monologue. guys would have killed him the city deserves better than that you know my daughter thinks you're a hero but I still have to bring you in Gordon come in what's your 20 I'm in the chapel we got the Joker son of a bitch you caught him and how did you do that I had some help I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least... That's what I used to think. <laughs> Stop his cut. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. And that is Batman Arkham Origins. Which I think is a vital addition to the story that these video games put together because it shows that transitional point where Batman shifts from being a symbol of just terror and justice and revenge to also being a symbol of hope. It shows the transition between when the cops all wanted to bring him in and when, you know, 
only the worst cops wanted to bring him in. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed our ride together. For all that the last few... Oh yeah. That you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. <laughs> A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind? And melt your cold, cold heart. Another crime before my time made your heart sad and blue. And so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh, <laughs> yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same, and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> Yeah, I hope that we don't get a copyright claim for that. Our next but it's worth the risk. Strategist Dean Snyder has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? But what about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy. But I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. Oh, God. It isn't about sharp. the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. Oh, and man. Tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my 
ultimate power to get Arkham Asylum reopened, so we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, <laughs> and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operation. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. And so it begins. Yeah. And now, as Izzy the Fool says, we know why this game is not just Batman Origins, but Batman Arkham Origins. It's interesting to consider the intimate relationship, not just between Batman and the Joker, but between, in this universe, Batman, the Joker, and Arkham itself. It's also interesting to consider the dark irony that the bane of this universe suffered apparently permanent brain damage because he was so obsessed with this battle between the titans, between himself and Batman, that he tried to OD on the drug that would eventually be called Venom. If you just if you heard anything other than the Joker singing for a while uh, previously during the snow, then you'll know that we got hit with copyright and we had to do something about the music. But under the circumstances, I do think that's a little unlikely, and I'm hoping it doesn't. Because for all the fact that I was, as usual, perfectly poised to lead us out with a song, I think it's most appropriate when the characters themselves do that. So from here we're going to be having some Whiplash weekends. I haven't decided which game yet, but which games exactly. But I do know that I definitely want to go back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker for a little bit. So that's going to be one of the ones that I alternate between for the next few weekends at least. If you have any recommendations or uh, requests on that line, please feel free to drop me a line on any of the media of social that I utilize or just in the comments section below this video. And that, gentle viewers and listeners, is the conclusion of Arkham Asylum Origins. But before we go... I'd like to take this moment to thank all of our patrons, present and future, uh, with special thanks to Cryptid Rio, and I'm waiting for the visual to come up. Oh well. Um, hmm. curiouser and curiouser. And uh, most of all, I want to give special thanks to... Oh, I see the problem. Hang on. So, special thanks to Cryptid Rhea and Guinevere. And most of all, special thanks to my personal savior, Laughing Gremlin. This channel could not be what it is without your support. Thank you. And if you would like to support what we do, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash coyote and when you do, please let me know via email or a Patreon message if there's a particular color in which you would like to have your name displayed. Alternatively, you can give a one-time gift at ko-fi.com slash de la mancha. And finally, a huge thank you to all of you who are circulating the links. The signal boost really helps. So... 
I'm thinking of uh, going back down to one bat month per year. We have a lot of content that we're wanting to get out there. And now we've gone through all three of the primary trilogy. We still have Arkham Knights and uh, a variety of other Batman games as well. But um, let me know if you want us to keep with the current schedule of Bat Months. If I don't hear anything from you folks, uh, I'll go ahead and cut down to one Bat Month a year from now on. Probably it'll be November. So, let me know. And until next time, never eat at a place called Mom's. Never play cards against a guy named Pops. And learn from the mistake of Bane and the Joker both. Never, ever, ever trust an honest man. And I will see you, gentle viewers and listeners, sometime again.